Oh, that's better. Hold on. Oh, God, that's delicious. Oh, nice can of uh, sterilized water. Ah, oh, shit. I can't believe I'm on. <laughs> wow, I was not coming on today. Um, as circumstances may go, uh, I'll have to explain that. Anyway, I'm on. So, um, I might be on today and tomorrow. I don't know. It's, it's tomorrow's the day I was supposed to be on. Let's do this. Let's get started. And uh, it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be an all nighter, so don't worry. So <laughs> god damn it. All right. Oh, you're not gonna work, are you? You're not going to work. Nothing is going to work. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun.
like, all right, we'll watch your videos because I don't think this, that, 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 that. Like, it, it, it's not going to stop with you, you know what I mean? This is going to keep going regardless whether you're playing the game or not. So it's like, while you're here, basically, you're in the game where you pick up the sticks on you. Exactly. So what you saying, man? Oh, yeah. Here I am. Fuck. Oh, man. I was taking the day off. <laughs> I had everything planned for it, man. I had 100% of everything planned for it. I had show. I was going to watch show. What's his name? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Billy Joe or Joe, Joe Bob. Joe Bob's uh, whatever uh, drive in movie, horror, whatever special. And uh, put my feet up and just fucking relax, maybe have a beer or two, and just nothing serious at all. However, as the powers that be, whatever this fucking thing is, whatever this sick-ass, disgusting Matrix thing is, made sure I came on. Um, really, really did a number on me. <laughs> and uh, just saying hi. Okay, uh, greetings from South Carolina. What's up, Danny State? And I do enjoy your uh, comic books, man. I enjoy, I enjoy your comic book stuff. Mm. Actually, I do. I really do. I actually, um, I kind of like your comic book stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it's kind of fun hearing uh, you read the comics and just kind of talk about them. That's that's fun. It's exciting. And I mean, it's, you know, it's better than most shit that's out there, which is pretty much garbage. I'm so sick of seeing everybody whining and complaining about this and that and this and this. The end of the world, the end of this and that. You know, oh, God, man. You know, this is a satanic fucking ritual. This is a satanic ritual. How about my middle finger up your ass? How about that as a satanic ritual? I don't know. I can see the changes. I can see everything. I know everything's going on. I can see the freaking Bible playbook. I know what's going on, but who cares? You can't stop it. Don't get in front of an avalanche. Uh, skiing 101. <laughs> uh, woo in concert. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, the one today has fallen apart. Yeah, I like that. That's an that old comic. You had that. That's a... The Doll Man? Isn't that like a precursor to like uh, uh, Ant Man or something like that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. I like comics. That's what I enjoy because I really enjoyed comics growing up as a kid. And I still like them now. I just, because I live out of a backpack, I can't exactly carry around my comic book collection. I gave them to Eric's son. So, you know, he's got them. I had a bunch of wonderful collection. I had a nice collection, man. I had a nice one. Shit, I'm a nerd. Mm. I mean, I'm just a nerd that. I have a short, you know, term memory, and uh, I have a short attention span. So comic books kind of relieve that itch a little bit. It's easier to look at a comic than fall into a damn novel. Like a lot of people go fucking fucking novels. And I'm like, I can't do a novel. I did novels in college, and that was painful. And mostly, I did that on the shitter. I was sitting on the toilet having to read that stuff. That's where I have to force myself to fucking read novels. Other than that, I like comic books and short stories and poems. It's kind of easier that way you can walk away from it like a meal like going to mcdonald's if you want to fucking uh comics and short stories and poetry is like mcdonald's it's quicker it's easier you go straight to the freaking mcnuggets man like the five dollar meal or whatever the whatever it's mm. so i'm on right now uh wasn't planning on it and uh <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, 1948, that's pretty impressive. Juan de la Montaña is in the house. Hola, Bob and the Chad family. My, our residents, uh, mine, our resident flat earther is in the house. Very good, sir. It's good that you're there. We need your input sometimes for the wacky shit. Now, I'm not a flat earther. I'm a nothing earther. I'm This place is just 100% ugh, fake to me. The entire goddamn concept's fake. Science don't work in any field. Everything's wrong. All of the science is wrong. <laughs> There's nothing right, man. <laughs> the sun is wrong. The moon is wrong. The stars are wrong. I saw uh, two UFOs yesterday alone sitting in the backyard. 
uh, just sitting there. And I saw two fucking UFOs, and I'm like, why? What are you doing there, UFOs? But anyway, let me um, get my face on there and uh, give the spill since uh, there is apparently two people in there, and I only have one person watching, so it's okay. It doesn't matter. I know there's more than that. Um, and plus I have rewinders. So for those of you guys that can't catch me live, you can catch me on the rewind. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here at all. In fact, you don't need to be here. Um, I could just talk all fucking night by myself. I don't care. Although the people that are participating and want to show up, you can show up, but if you can't make it, don't make it. Don't, don't go out of your way. Don't even bother yourself. Fuck it. Mm. I don't care. I only do this cause I'm supposed to do it. I don't have a choice, <laughs> but uh, yeah, especially today. So today I was not coming on and uh, made my, I, I get paid tomorrow. So tomorrow the government gives me my fucking, uh, uh, my uh, veterans paycheck. And uh, <laughs> the, the resident flat earther, baby. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot of flat earth fucking friends, you know, it's, and they, they all, they all know that, you know, um, I was a NASA fanboy. I worked at aerospace museums. I've been all over, I've worked for all the fucking things I know. So I've taken, I wouldn't, I have an advanced degree and fucking whatever is, I know all that stuff. And, um, at the moment where we are now, nothing makes sense. So I can give a shit anymore. I don't care. Flat earthers are not wrong. And uh, round earthers are not wrong. And the fucking square earthers are not wrong. And the poop earthers are not wrong. And the simul uh, simulation theorists are not wrong. And nobody's fucking wrong anymore because nothing is real. Mm -mm. Nothing is real. Because <laughs> I'll tell you how this place works. And uh, literally, I'm on my couch not coming on today. <laughs> And the air conditioner just stops running. It's making a humming noise. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. The swamp cooler just stopped working, and I shut it off and then went up on the roof and checked it, and the belt broke. I don't have a replacement belt. So I'm sitting in a hot house with fans on. I'm like, well, there's one fucking bad thing. And then um, as I got ready to watch uh, a horror movie in the heat with fans... Uh, the neighbors decide to start uh, leaf blowing, like right by the door. And the doors are open so the air can get through the house because there's no air conditioner or no swamp cooler. And uh, <laughs> here we go. You're, okay, uh, I've seen my fair shares of UFOs here in South Carolina. I, yeah, they're everywhere. Man, it's becoming numbing. It's so stupid now. I don't care anymore. It would be a time when it'd be thrilling, but it's not anymore. I'm like, oh, look. Multiple different colors, moving across the sky, stopping in midair, going sideways, stopping midair, identifying it, trying to debunk it. Well, you've got to be a drone. <sighs> no, nah, you ain't no drone. Get my fucking binos out. No, nah, you're a goddamn uh, UFO. Yeah, sure are. UFO. Uh, then another one comes out later. <laughs> And there was another one over here, and I'm watching it. I'm like, yeah, here's another one. Is it like his friend? Are they all fucking hanging out in tandem? Are they all fucking having a good time together? Is this like Blue Angels? Are all going to hang around with each other? It's just so dumb. I don't care. It's I don't believe in it. I believe it's there. I'm looking at it visually, but I just don't believe believe anything anymore. But uh, so anything and every, and then I saw three 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 today, just walking by, and just. Their microwave clock, and I'm just putting something in the microwave and then shutting the door, hitting the beep beep beeps, come back around, open up the microwave door, pull out my fucking coffee, shut the fucking door, and it's 3.33. Come on. <laughs> so pretty much anything and everything has been pushing me outside the fucking door today. I, I gotta be outside. It's, it's cooler outside than it is inside. So I just... I don't know sometimes. I don't know, man. Something just pushes me all the time. Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking that Magnum PI shirt is real. This is a great shirt, man. You should understand. This is quality art. This is a great shirt. 
what I wear with these kind of shirts. It's standard World War III uniform. This is a World War III camouflage shirt uh, because who cares anymore? There are no more fight wars in the bushes. There are no more wars on the field. There's no more reason to have camouflage anymore. Just wear a Latigre shirt. I don't know. Wear a Vato shirt. Wear whatever shirt you have. Whatever your favorite fucking t-shirt is with whatever you print you have on it. That's the best fucking World War III shirt now because it's all domestic now. There's nothing. <laughs> War is fake. The presidency's fake. The uh, the Olympics is a joke. Uh, pretty much, if you watch Star Wars, it's dumb. Uh, anything on the television is getting stupider. It's pretty much a punishment place for just idiocracies, man. All the way across the board. It's just like, bam, everything is fucking stupid. It's a stupid fest. So you just get up and have to make a decision to yourself. Like, how far do you want to walk into the world of dumb? Like, how much do you want to invest your energy in stupid? I'm just... <laughs> At some point, you just give up. I'm just like, I don't care. It's dumb. Did you hear about this happening? Cares. So... <laughs> Are you near that park fire? I didn't know there was a park fire. Was there a park fire? I don't look at the news anymore. I do it for entertainment when I want comedy. So I'll watch the news for comedy. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you right now from my observances. That's AI. That's AI. That's an artificial intelligence like fake face. Deep fake. So I see deep fake on the internet. I see deep fake on the news. I see deep fake everywhere. It's things I could tell the way they're, I could tell, every, I could like, this is deep fake. This is artificial. It's not real. It's like when uh, Joe, Bi or no, Joe Biden was missing and then he puts out a whole statement that he's not running for president. And then you look at him and you could tell he's a deep fake. He's fake. And um, pretty much anybody and everybody in the whole fucking thing. I don't even know if we have a government, man. <laughs> I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. Uh, yeah. <coughs> California is on fire. Maybe you should watch the news. California is always on fire. It's been on fire since 2016. Every year there's a fire. There's a fire there. There's a fire there. There's always a fire. Everywhere I, every, every time I turn around, there's a fucking fire. The fire all the time. Shit, the best way to go to a fire is bring hot dogs. If there's a fucking fire, just bring hot dogs. Just bring your friends, grab some coldies, grab some fucking um some uh some some lawn chairs and just barbecue and watch the fire. Ah, screw it. Uh if there's a storm, just watch it. If there's a tornado, just sit out next to it and watch it and then chuck your bottle into it. Oh, that one caught it. Cool, man. Cares. There's no such thing as death. There's no such thing as anything. <laughs> yeah, no, I know it's on fire. I, you're right. I mean, I'm sure if I turn on the news, it'll be uh, it'll be a fire. You know, there'll be a fire. There's always a fire. There's always a fire somewhere. I'm serious. I, you're right, though. I'm not making fun of you. I'm not mocking you. I'm not even being a dick about it. But you're right. There's a fire. Um, I think it's north from here, or is it in Fresno? Fuck, I don't know. But I do want you guys to hear this song. Uh, see if I can get it in. Uh, no shit. You guys have to hear this song, though. It's important. It's part of your uh, learning lessons for today. Anthropology. Um, sing along with it if you guys want to. Listen closely. Get how I feel Because I do the 
Still no days. Dildo Day. Let them burn. I don't need her peace out, you shrew. Let everyone burn. I don't need her peace out, you shrew. As I lay here in my own goo. Lay here in my own goo. As I lay here in my own goo. As I lay here in my own goo. Stole her from the last supper's table, underneath the table. Uh, no wonder Paris has problems, man. Uh, they can't do the last supper because I stole the dog. Uh, everything's fucked up. You know, you can't just steal from the timelines. I stole her from the painting. I keep telling you guys that. I got her from the last supper table, uh, underneath the last supper table. She was the little dog, brown dog that was curled up on the far right side of the table like but there was you know they had the curtains all the way down you couldn't see anybody's feet or anything and they had regular cups and there was a uh there was the cup of christ or whatever in the fucking center of the table but it's no longer there and then that dog is missing because i stole it so anyway i think i stole the cup too i don't know where i put it fucking lost it somewhere fuck man god damn it man i should think about that because that's the holy grail fuck i misplaced it somewhere in the house i can't i think it's in the fucking closet or it's in the i think i'm drinking out of it now hmm. drink coffee out of it <sighs> fuck it ah uh, okay uh play i don't look good naked anymore by snake oil willy some people say that's you in the video i think i saw that i think you had that so i think you played that video i think you i think that's yeah 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 
Yeah, I always have people always say that to me that you look like uh, you look like uh, ZZ Top or you look like this guy or you look like a hillbilly out of here and a hillbilly out of there. Just because I decided to stop shaving, I just decided to not care anymore. I don't fucking shave. Shit. And I, no, I bathe. Sometimes I give that up too. Fuck that. Forget everything. I can give up everything. Nothing matters. Ha! Ah! 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 Hairball. Ah! Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Oh, I think the dog. Oh, I had the dog on my lap. And, and the dog is shedding. I got hair in my mouth. Oh. Oh. It's in my fucking throat. Oh. Sorry. Give me a second. Wasn't prepared. Not prepared mentally. Um, I will. I'll, you know. Yeah, I might. But let's have a conversation. Let's do uh, something... Uh, Something uh, philosophical. If you guys have any questions for me, you can ask questions. Um, if anybody wants to ask me a question, you can. And um, I'll attempt to answer it wrong. That's the best way to do things here. Because that's how it happens. That's what we do here. Everyone answers things wrong. Everyone's a fucking liar and everyone's a fake. Every time I turn on the interwebs, there's always someone talking to a blue alien. It's like a blue alien. I just talked to the Galactic Federation. You did? What did they say? They said that Earth is going into 5D. What the fuck is 5D? It's the fifth dimension. What's the fucking difference between fifth dimension and a third dimension? The fifth dimension is everything's higher vibration or whatever. Can you get high with it? Can you smoke cigarettes? Can I buy a prostitute in 5D? They're like, no. What the, what, why is it good? If you can't get a blowjob in 5D, why would I want to go there? Unfortunately, I see all the changes. I'm going through the same ascension process as everyone else. But at the same time, I can give a shit. And when I get there, they're going to hate me. Because when I get to 5D, I'm bringing that shit back down to 3. Nah. All the biggest booby bitches stand over there. Let's 5D and boobies. Let's 5D it all up. Let's get everything 5D'd up. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, let me calm down for a second since I'm on live. And we're talking about um, philosophy, uh, things that are important, and uh, uh, things that are relevant to what's happening now in this place. Now, I think I talked about it on my last show. Everyone's like all having a freak out about the Last Supper table uh, at the Olympics. And I kind of have to repeat that message. Um, let me say this, though, first. For those of you guys with the Mandela effect, for those of you guys that think you have the effect, and for those of you guys that quantum jump like myself, and for those of you in my primary audience, get the fuck off drugs. Don't care. Don't do it. I mean, don't. If you can just get off that... And just have a couple of fucking coldies and smoke a little green here and there. You'll be fine. Uh, stick with the organics. Uh, work with your local bruja and uh, all them other wonderful things. And, uh, you know, just um, have it naturally. Do things naturally. Do everything naturally. Now, having said that, the Last Supper table um, at the Olympics, it's, I just love it. Because it's art, and art, if it's no good unless you walk away from it either shocked or like it. Either you really, really like it or you really, really hate it. Either way, it gives you an emotion, and that emotion is exactly what art does. It pushes cattle into a direction, pushes cattle into a direction. It gets people all fucking worked up because art does that and if art does nothing for you does not make you upset or does not make you happy um just kind of makes you numb in the middle then it's no good it's just not gonna work art works if it invokes some sort of emotion either good or bad 
And because these people are mocking the Last Supper table, because I myself mocked the Last Supper table, because Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper did not look the way it does now. It's a huge Mandela effect, as they call it. It's fucking monstrous. So who gives a shit what they do? In fact, most people are now looking at the Last Supper table, the real picture, because of the art. And because they're looking at it with new eyes for the first time, and they had some sort of fucking shift, they're looking at it going, huh, is that bread on the table? Uh, those glasses that grandma has in her kitchen at the Last Supper table during that time period? I don't remember that. And where's the missing cup of Christ at the center of the table? It ain't there. And so people are now looking at the Last Supper table, angry, going back to reminisce about how it used to look as a painting or as a, a wall painting mural, whatever. Like the first fucking graffiti on a wall. Um, Juan should be happy. <laughs> He's like, Cállate, cabrón. Don't stereotype me. I don't spray paint. I don't do fucking spray paints on walls. Yeah, whatever. Um, it makes people think now. Because when I was in Paris, I was in France. I was all over Paris for a little while there. Um, I've seen a lot of people that are experiencing the um, discrepancy errors the uh, continuity errors, the uh, Mandela effect errors, and all the other weird shit that's going on. So the fact that they pointed and poked fun at something that's a huge Mandela effect to get people specifically to look exactly at the actual old painting, whatever's, and now they're going, hey, it's changed. Oh, I guess it worked. Because if you remember how the Last Supper looked, table, in the Leonardo da Vinci's fucking painting, then you would know that it's changed. It's changed a lot. In fact, it's missing the cup of Christ. And it's missing the little dog in the right-hand corner. And it's missing all kinds of shit on the table. And the way the uh, people look at the table are completely different. In fact, Judah, Judah, which turned Jesus in, for uh, 30 silver coins. Wait, what's it now? What's the... 30 coins? Three coins? <laughs> trying to remember. Huh. Anyway... You would know that a lot of things have changed. So Judah at the at the Last Supper table is very, very, very dark. He's very dark skinned. He was never dark skinned. And now he's almost black at the table. Am I back on? Okay, I froze. I did froze. You know what's funny about that? I have full-blown... Uh, my cousin is now paying... Am I still on? For full-blown internet. There's no reason for me to be blanked out now. So that means something else is doing it. Huh. A disruption in my internet. Why? Why? I'm paying money for it now. I used to run it off my fucking free government phone, but now, am I still frozen? I'll play this for a little bit.
say one will be with you all of the time. The only time I feel alright is by your side. They're shutting my internet off. All of the night. I'm only playing this for a few minutes because they shut my internet off. I had to play that real fast because um, I apparently froze and this is a different internet. It's pay for internet and um, there's no reason for it to go off. That's why I'm checking. And my internet went off and I froze because I lost my bandwidth for no reason and it doesn't do it ever. <laughs> That's not the song requested. I don't want to play your music. You get me kicked off. Last time you gave me a song, I got kicked off. <laughs> no, I know that song you're talking about. You're like a spoiled child. You like get all upset. I bet you demand things. I bet your wives left you because you're always demanding things. Oh, oh. You have no patience. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> God damn. Oh, God. Oh. oh. The fuck was that? Oh. Oh. That was painful. Oh, it's like smoking pure fucking cinnamon. Like, that burned my lungs. Oh, what was in that? Ugh. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh, I'll be tripping balls here soon. Oh, I'll play your song. Big baby. Okay, hold on. Okay. I don't look good naked anymore. I don't look naked any more. Is this like a hint? Are you giving me a code that you don't look good naked no more? Because I don't care. I don't want to see you naked, dude. Um. Okay, uh, uh, Snake Oil Willie. Snake Oil Willie. That almost sounds homo-robic or homo-whatever, man. Oh, man. Okay. 
Let's get you out of the way. <laughs> there you go. It's an extra day anyway. Well, my body could use a little slimming. I keep my shirt on when I go swimming. And I ain't seen my feet since 1984. The old lady wants to roll in the hay. We turn the lights down all the way. Because I don't look good naked anymore. Oh, my God. It looks like me. No, I don't look good naked anymore. <sighs> but I do. I fried double white version <sighs> of the man I was before. If I keep on like I'm doing, I won't fit through the door. And I don't look good naked, naked anymore. anymore. Well, I used to be a hell of a man. I chop wood with just one hand. But I can't do the things I've done before. Well, it all happened kind of slow. But I guess I kind of let myself go. Now I don't look good naked anymore. anymore. I don't look, look good, good naked, naked anymore. anymore. I'm a deep fried double wide version of the man I was before. If I keep on like I'm doing, I won't fit through the door and I don't look like With each and every passing year came a lot of French fries and beer. And the belly hung a little closer to the floor. Now my belly as big as a truck And the old lady don't wanna She don't wanna Cause I don't look good naked anymore No, I don't look good naked anymore I'm a deep fried double white version of the man I was before If you keep on like I'm doing I don't look good naked anymore. Don't look good naked anymore. That was okay. That guy looks like my doppelganger. That's fucking scary. However, I'm much more fit, much more handsome, too. My God, this is for you. Uh, I want to I play this one for you, too, though. Um, um, <laughs> this is for Danny Staten. He's going to be like, This ain't my song. Yes, it is. This is Danny Staten's song. I got you, man. This song is for you, dude. I lost everybody. <laughs> Very good. It's all about rewinders now. Rewinders love me. Thinking of two, Tracy Stone doing his thanksgiving a coon. 
Dogs on the porch laid out by my feet. And everybody's head starts bobbing to the feet. Cars drive by looking at us kind of funny. Just some old poor junkies ain't got no money. Crops in the backyard, chickens in the front. Slingshots, shooting beer cans off that stump. And the black smoke coming from the smoker. Dinner time's close. Yesterday's hide hanging right on the post. Kick back, rock a chair, yeah, we keep it funky. That's the definition of an old pork At a time. Hello. Hello. Saggy pants. Suck. Saggy pants. I want my ass to be seen when I walk. Dirty ass ponies. One day at a time. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Probably lost everyone fucking watching live, which is perfect because everyone watches rewind anyway. So it doesn't fucking matter. I found that out. You know, I did a, I do shows and then there'd be zero on the fucking sides. And when I go back to review my stuff, I have a shitload of fucking views and they're always in the rewinds, usually overseas. Mm. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, that wasn't good. Uh, that's better. Yeah, that was better. I almost sounded gay there for a second. I do apologize. Man. Anyway, so. What's going on in the world? Absolutely fucking nothing. Everything's stupid. Ah. Uh, are you guys going to vote? I'm going to vote for Nixon. He's frozen in carbonite. I know that. He's frozen in carbonite. They're saving him. You guys know that each and every American president was a criminal. A criminal puppet. And each and every criminal has their day in court. And each and every criminal has the right to run for the American presidencies. Doesn't matter their color. Race, decree, sexuality. They could be a dog or a cat and still run for president. You could be a cartoon character and still run for president because it doesn't require anything. It just requires that you live in a cage 
and you get paraded around like a fucking idiot and you dance like an idiot. It's the most idiotic, stupidest fucking post ever. Not one. Well, some of them were in the military, but not very many American presidents were ever fucking a veterans of anything. They didn't fight. They didn't serve. They're only the president because of nepotism. Nepotism comes from the hiring of a nephew. And uh, it goes back to whatever's the Roman days, whatever's nepotism, nepotism, nepotism. They're just another RH negative in the fucking White House. Now, is Camila an RH negative? If I were to be a betting man and I wanted to be a filthy rich man, someone says, is her blood type an RH negative? I would bet a resounding yes. Wow. How can she be? Well, uh, Camila Harris, whatever fucking name is, is from Jam or she has a Jamaican ancestry. Jamaican ancestry means she was, uh, family was at the time a British citizen. Not only would she have a family that's a British citizen, she would have had a family that owned slaves and plantations and all those wonderful things, which means she comes from a royal line. And if she comes from a royal line, she has the right to run for the American presidencies. Guarantee you. So someone says, put a million dollars like I can go to the bank. I want a million dollars. What are you going to do? I'm going to place a bet. What's the bet that both Democrats and Republican candidates are both R H negative blood types? 50 50. It's just like a roulette wheel. You put it on red or you put it on black. I'll put it all on R H negative, both of them for the fucking win. Boom. I bet I would win a fat fucking double down wad of cash. Boom, how did you know? It's easy. How would you know that? It's easy. Run the fucking lineage line. Look at both Donald Trump. Look at his fucking line. Look at her line. Look at his line. Look at the next president's line. Look at all of their lines. They come from the same fucking tree, man. It don't matter. Easy money, easy bet. Doesn't matter who wins, doesn't matter who loses. Everything will be exactly the fucking same, if not worse, and gets worse. And everything around you is supposed to be bad, constantly made bad, on purpose. This matrix, whatever this fucking thing is, constantly fucks with you continuously across the board. <laughs> continuously across the board, because... Again, I wasn't going to do a show today, and I even told the ether, am I going to have a regular day to sit in front of the couch and fuck, or sit on the couch and watch fucking a movie and I'll go on tomorrow? <laughs> fuck no, the air conditioner fucking shuts off. I swear to God on my family, on my family family, on my fucking future lineage, on anything and everything and everything I fucking am. My goddamn belt in the swamp cooler broke. <laughs> I had to put a next day fucking whatever order in on uh, Amazon to get a new belt. So the house has no air conditioner or a swamp cooler. And both doors are open and people are doing yard work at the same time I'm sitting and trying to watch fucking TV. Um, dogs barking and wild because the door is open. I got a metal uh, safety door in front of it for fucking, you know, for thieves and shit. And so... I can't just sit here. Something pushed me outside. Not only that, I'm broke. I get paid tomorrow. My cousin's broke. He gets paid Wednesday. However, somehow he got a ticket, one, and he had just enough, just enough to buy beer. He says, want to do a show? There's beer in there. <sighs> Everything pushed me outside. It was, it, it's just, I could not just sit there. <laughs> The elements, the matrix itself pushed me outside. I could not just sit in the house. I just wanted to so bad fucking chill out, put my feet up, and watch television. Now, 
um, I sent some emails out. I was talking and um, I was watching the boys all over again from the beginning, the boys and um, um, Homelander drank from breast milk from females and his first boss, I can't remember her name, her, his first boss, the boss in, uh, in charge of the Vots, Vots, whatever's in the TV series called The Boys. Uh, Homelander drank from his boss's booby. Like it was a, it was hilarious to see. That was the premise of his whole fucking whatever is his thing about not having a mother and not having a father and being all mental in the fucking head. Um, and he drank from her breast. That's how she controlled him with breast milk. And now I watched it again. And she takes two fingers and sticks it into her titty milk and just puts it into his mouth. And he sucks on her two fingers. I said, nine. That, that's that's changed. Completely changed. And there's a character, his name is Frenchie in there. And his clothes completely changed. And there are parts of scenes that I have never seen before. It's like when I watched the series, The Boys, I've watched it before. I watched the whole thing all the way through. I finished it. Uh, I went back to season one for the fun of it and just watched it again. And it's completely changed the whole fucking series. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Uh, we uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we lost your face for a minute. That was weird. You looked like blank man. Really? Oh, God. Must be my energy. I must have too much energy. I have to slow down. Really? You lost my face? Yeah, I think I have too much energy. I mean, I'm pretty much fucking radioactive, man. That sun has been throwing fucking nut everywhere. It's been doing its blowholes, man. That thing has a lot of jizz coming out of it. It's got all kinds of coronal fucking holes. And every time I turn on the, the things for weather or whatever is for the Noah site, there's a brand new coronal blast coming towards us. We've got another one. It's going to be here in 48 hours. That's just another radioactive upgrade fucking blast. So I'm going to stand outside with my nuts out. Put my dick, face it towards the sun, and let that coronal blast hit my fucking boys. Let it hit the boys. Stay out in the sun. <laughs> Get that blast. Like right now, I could feel the uh, the photons from it. That's from the coronal blast. I'm getting it. The sun is giving me a fucking money shot. Whoa, feel that thing. Ooh, feel that radiation coming. A lot of people getting cancer too right now. A lot of people are getting cancer. <laughs> they can't take it. But I'm uh, RHO negative and I have copper blood so I can take them fucking coronal nut shots. Whew. I'm just covered in fucking sun jizz. The sun jizz is all over me. Oh, oh, sun jizz. Oh, man. The sun jizzed. <laughs> you look like blank man. Blank man. What's a blank man? Oh, is that a cart? Is that a comic book character? That's a big ass shadow. Shadows. Oh man, I'm inside of it right now. You guys see the shadows? There's nobody here but me and a dog. Wow. Amazing. Fucking amazing. This place has a lot of power in it. The cool thing is, all you have to do is play with it. You know how I fucking manifest? I don't. I just get drunk. Get high. And look at the stupidity of it. You know, when I saw the cock shit records, and this is where um, Daniela W. will correct me, um, she'll write in there, uh, Akashic. She always, like, you mean Akashic? Yeah, cock shit. Said that. Cock shit records. 
Once you stare into the cockshit records, you know that everything is written. Everything is words. The entire fabric of the universe is nothing but a story. Multiple different words somewhere in a book. It's just a story. When I die, it'll be just a story. Here lies the greatest piece of shit I've ever lived. Here lies a man that did not give a shit. I want that on my fucking gravestone. In fact, I don't even want a gravestone. I don't want anything. I want my body placed out where animals can have it and have them have a good meal. Eat away. Eat that's my flesh. Eat me. Have a good time. I'm already dead. You can have my sad sack. Just eat it. Eat the bones. Don't leave anything left. Like, get down in it. Let the worms have the rest with the bugs, everything. I can't wait to feed the planet. Serious, man. I can't wait to feed the planet. What is that noise? Whoa. What kinds of noises. I'm blinking out. I'm glitching. Strange noises. Strange shadows. Man, this is actually happening live on camera. I must have powers, like superpowers. I must be in 5D. I can't wait to go to 5D. I want a, a blue bitch. I want to be like Captain Kirk and fuck a blue bitch. What are you? <clears throat> I'm a blue Arcturian. Cool. You have a you have a vagina? That works. Mm. That coxic somebody's fucking firing something off during my show. So uh the thing's going off, people are instinctively turning on all their machines, and it's always happening when I you look okay. Uh, I'm going to be frozen so they can bring me back in the future. Yeah, I probably time shifted. I bet you a lot of shifts just happened. I bet you it was a whole reality shift. Just I bet right now, uh, during that blank, there was a <laughs> there was a shift. You hear that? Somebody's grinding on something in the middle of the fucking evening. <laughs> Somebody's just now decided to grab a fucking grinder and just turn it on. Just they don't know why. They have no reason. They have no soul. They're a um, NPC. They're a non fucking whatever person player, and they just decide to walk out in the evening during fucking everyone's relaxing times in this place with having a cold beer, and you're just gonna start grinding on shit for no reason. Hear that? And I'm going to freeze. There's going to be shadows. It's going to be a fucking plane coming. Probably a helicopter. I'm waiting for the train to come. <laughs> Constantly fucking sounds, man. All the way through. It's always something happening. And it's like an opposition. Like one side is pushing me outside. And the other side is stopping me when I'm outside to try to disrupt my stuff. It's fucking hilarious. It's this this place. A lot of you guys are suffering from it. You're having weird things happen. Uh, again, I always joke about you're being held up in the in the shopping. Uh, you're in line to buy groceries, and someone cuts in front of you, and you can't. You know, you're in the aisle to buy something, and somebody stops the cart in front of you. Okay, you're in a car, and somebody cuts you off. Okay. Um, you're somewhere and someone just fucking comes up to you for no, okay. And you see people fucking sleeping in the streets and then there's all kinds of wacky do shit. Okay. What a fucking movie this place is. It's, it's, it's the probability of things happening. Dogs barking. Dogs barking. The probabilities is one. I'm doing the math on the probabilities. No, no, no. It's plausible. Everything you're talking about is completely fucking normal. To you, it's normal. Not to me. 
the probabilities of certain things happening at specific times is completely impossible. Well, it's not impossible. It's probable. However, highly unlikely. And the number for probabilities goes up higher and higher and higher. The probabilities don't work here. Somebody climbing on a roof, taking a shot at the American president, and missing them. What's the probabilities? Uh, what's the probability of somebody doing this and that? What's the probability? What's the probability of this happening at this place in time? What's the probabilities? What's the probabilities of World War I where uh, fucking Duke Ferdinand gets shot and the license plate has the exact end date of World War I? What's the probabilities? Uh, I was just looking over. Um, someone sent me footage of the Kennedy assassination. Now it's all blotched. It's completely covered. It's completely changed. It used to be black and white. It used to be a four-seater. And now it's some big-ass fucking, what, 20-seater? I don't know. Is it a limo they cut the fucking top off for? And now it stretches out in some weird-ass way with color. And it got signs blocking everything. And it's completely changed. The uh, Kennedy assassination, is the, the footage is completely fucking changed. And I'm like, fucking cares. I mean, I, I know the Kennedy assassination footage very well. <laughs> the old black and white footage debunk all the fucking conspiracy theories with the uh, magic bullet and all those fucking whatevers. And it's completely fucking changed. And it's completely hiding everything. It's getting to the point where you can't even see. You might get a glimpse of somebody shooting somebody, but it's fucking ridiculous. But these local idiots, the NPCs, have always seen that footage. It's the same footage. It's always been out. No, it hasn't. It was a black and white fucking footage, and it was nothing like that. It's the same foot. No, it's not. The same footage. The, 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 the Last Supper table is completely fucking idiotic. The, 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 the Kennedy assassination footage is completely idiotic. Anything and everything here is completely fucking stupid. It's so dumb. Now, for those of you guys that are a little bit awake, you can see it. You can feel how stupid things are. You can feel it. You can look at it. You know it. You can see it. You just know it. It's just everything is so changed all the time that you just can't help but to sit back and laugh at it and laugh your ass off. Slap your fucking knee and don't care. Don't let it eat you. Don't let it get to you. This place wants to hurt you. This place wants to make you sad. This place has itself designed to irritate you. People are supposed to irritate you. People around your family, your friends, everything is supposed to get your goat. That's how it works. I don't care anymore. I'm like, let people do the stupidest shit. Cool. It's not going to irritate me. I'm going to laugh at it. If you do something dumb, I'm just laughing at it. I don't care anymore. If something else is new that's stupid, I'm just going to laugh at it. I don't care anymore. If, you know, just the government, cool. Let them do it. Care anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be frozen so they can bring me. Okay, anyway, anyway. Bring you back from where? Oh, frozen like, uh, like Nixon in carbonite. Danny State, and they couldn't, they couldn't put you. They would not want to put you in a frozen container, man. Because number one, before you can be frozen and put into a time machine, you have to expel all your um, everything. <sighs> you have to drink a liquid. And you got to take a nasty dump the entire day. You have to have no anything inside of you.
somebody's actually using a fucking saw right now in the middle of the evening. <laughs> That's what's the probability of that. Um, you would have to expel uh, everything in your body. You can't have anything in you. Your bladder has to be 100% empty. Your uh, bowels have to be 100% empty. Pretty much, you got to have this fucking liquid inside of you. And then before you can even fucking, then they got to do a blood transfusion before they can freeze you. You got to be 100% empty. And believe me, that's a fucking horrible, horrible thing to be in. I mean, you got to have a little food in you at all times. Imagine having no food in you for like 24 hours and nothing inside of you for a long time. And then, and then they can put you into the freezing process. And, you know, even then, they got to check you. They even got to. They even gotta like um like they even gotta like check your pores. Huh? They gotta like pop your zits and they got you can't have anything in you. Like they gotta like pop your zits in your nose and you they gotta look your body over and make sure there's nothing, nothing with your body, whatever's you can't bring nothing with you. They shave you from head to toe, you got no hair on your body nothing you're like a fucking weird person they even shave your nuts your asshole everything you're as smooth as a baby just born and then they put you into a liquid a liquid kind of a thick ass weird ass goo that's pure ass white it's like what they put you in like a white paint and you lay inside the white paint and then you can't breathe and it goes into your lungs. But somehow it has like a oxygen content to it. Where you could still breathe. You're not going to die. But you're going to choke. Your heart's going to fucking pound like you're drowning. And you go to a fucking freak out in the liquid. And then you're like fucking dying. And then you fucking pass out in your mind. And then after you pass out in your mind... To hit that fucking switch, dude. And then your shit is suspended. Your shit is suspended. Then they can bring you out anytime they want to. Uh, but why would you want to? Oh, it's for you, man. I'll be taken off anyway. It's one of your favorite artists. You know you like this person. In fact, I think you had a crush on this person. Here we go. On his way home from Candletop Been two weeks gone And he thought he'd stop at Webbs And have him a drink Before he went home to her Andy Warlow said hello Put you in a tube hi, what's doing He said sit down I've got some bad news It's gonna hurt This is you frozen He said I'm your best friend And you know that's right But your young bride ain't home tonight since you've been gone, she's been sick. I gotta readjust this. It's for the sun. He got mad and he saw the red. And Andy said, Boy, don't you lose your head. Because to tell you the truth, I've been away from myself. That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. That's the night that they hardly an innocent man. Well, don't trust your soul to no backwoods of a law. Cause the judge in the town got bloodstains on his hands. Well, Andy got scared and left the bar. Walking on home cause he didn't live far. See, Andy, you're losing all your viewers. And he just lost him Going away now. Cool. Brother thought his wife must have left town. Scared them. He went home and finally found the only thing Papa had left him, and that was a gun. But he went off to Andy's house, slipping through the backwoods, quiet as a mouse, came upon some tracks too small for Andy to make. He looked through the screen at the back porch door, and he saw Andy lying on the floor in a puddle of blood. And he started to shake. 
Covered in cancer. Oh, wow. And the judge said guilty in a make believe trial. Slapped the sheriff on the back with a smile, said supper's waiting at home. And I gotta get to it. That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. That's the night that they hard an innocent man. But I'll trust your soul and all backwood southern law. Cause the judge in the town's got blood stains on his hands. Blood stains on his hands. My brother before I could see the tracks he saw while on his way to Andy's house and back that night were mine. Yes, she's a wife that never left town. And that's one body that'll never be found. See, her sister don't miss when she aims her gun. That's the night that the lights went, went out, out in Georgia. Oh, 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 that's the night that they caught an innocent man. Oh, 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 oh don't trust your soul and all that good stuff. Hey, why are you hanging me? I didn't do anything. You're guilty. Guilty of what? Of this crime. No, I, I didn't do it. I wasn't even there. Fuck it. All right. I don't care. Hang me. Fuck it. So I look at this place. Fucking care. <laughs> you can never, ever get ahead in this place. Can't. It's like they put some kind of thing out where you can't get ahead. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens. Something's going to fucking fall through. Someone's going to do this and that. And you're always going to be fucked every single day. Now, you get accustomed to it like a dog that's been beaten. Like, go for it. Kick me hard in the ribs. I can use a good beating. <laughs> Then you get to this place, and um, when everything is so dumb, it's so dumb, and now it's dumb on top of dumb, and it just keeps putting itself in front of you to just try to fucking make you miserable, and I'm just like, I can see it, I laugh at it, and I want it to happen. Now, people are like saying, are you being negative? Fuck, no, I'm not being negative. I'm just saying I'm observant. I could tell when the fucking belt broke. Really? <laughs> the fucking belt breaks on the fucking air conditioner is hot. <laughs> and then the leaf blower guy is in front of the, they're like leaf blowing there and there. And this guy's fucking sawing over here. And it's just nothing you can do. They just make sure it's constant, constant. Something has to irritate you in every fucking aspect of your life. And always remind you exactly who you are. A nobody. Very good. It's good to be nobody. Sometimes it's the best way to be. And then you can always get through anything and everything once you realize that you ain't shit anymore. It never was. <laughs> they don't allow it. Okay, anyway. So, um... Being frozen in any place, Danny Staten, unless you come from the family, you have to come from the family. You understand, there are two types of people in this world. Them and you. Them is small. A small family. They're a family. <laughs> people that run this fucking entire back of this turtle, they are a family. They are part of the family. They've married in and they have children with and somehow they're connected to the family and it might be a small sliver connection, but whatever it is, they're connected. They get a meal, things are paid for, they get a good job, executive, whatever is the fucking CEO shits, the presidencies, it doesn't matter. As long as you're part of the family, you have to be part of the family. And you have to be linked to the RH negatives, the original family. And if you're not, you're not going to have anything. You're not. You're a slave. 
But you got to ask yourself, if the slavers let all the slaves run everything, what's going to happen? Mutual destruction. Let them kill themselves. You know, people hate the elite. However, the elite keep people from killing themselves because I have seen people in my life. I, I knew a guy. He's RH positive blood and he won the lottery. He won a million dollars from the lottery and he was a kid right out of high school and he won a million dollars from the lottery. He had a lot of money and he died because <laughs> he had money. Drank himself to death, drugged himself to death, prostituted himself to death. He just died. People, some people can't have the money. I know people that if you they want money or they have money, they'll die. They can't live. They'll drink themselves under. They'll go to places where they'll just pass out somewhere and die. They can't have money. Most people that are poor are living because they're poor. If poor people had money, the majority of them will kill themselves. They'll die. That is the worst thing you can ever have if you were not trained for it. Having money is a discipline because that means you've got to be vigilant and you've got to distribute your wealth and invest and do all these hard fucking things. They can have the things they want at the same time. They are coming from money and it's a responsibility and everyone else. Poor people die with money. See it all the time. Here's uh, $50,000. Give a homeless man $50,000. He'll be dead before the weekend's over. He will be dead. <laughs> Give a poor person money and they're dead. Oh, I'm going to do the right thing. Go for it, man. How long is that going to last? Two years later, this motherfucker is sitting in a yacht in the middle of fucking something somethings. And a storm comes and kills him as he's throwing up over the fucking side from drugs and prostitutes and all kinds of shit. Venereal diseases. Just the worst of the worst. People can't handle money. <laughs> what about you, Robert Wood? What would you do with a million dollars? I would die. I'd be dead within a fucking week. Because... <laughs> No, I wouldn't be dead. <laughs> anyway, so um, just making sure I'm not missing anybody's comments. Um, mostly people are just listening. They're not going to make comments. Danny Staten will continue to make comments if he's there. He's not playing with his dolls. Man likes his dolls. I like dolls. I had dolls. I had action figures. <laughs> My mansion I've owned. You said it was love, dear. But you lied from the start. I wanted true love. But you wanted my gold. I've got millions of dollars and now I want love. Someday you'll be sorry for the lies that you told. Dead. You stole my heart. Poor people die with mud. But someday my daughter. You love me. She loved your money. Loved your money. Oh. 
For all my money. You said it was a fish. But you lied from the start. More sadness with money. People chum up to you, they want your money. No friends that are real. Nobody's real. You stole my heart. Fuck money. And you cheated on me. I'll take a small paycheck in this. Someday my dog. And I'm happy. <laughs> I know that you will see. Being poor keeps you alive, and you learn, and you're smarter. The less you have, the smarter you become, because you have to learn how to make it. With limited of, of resources, you learn how to build your own shit, fix your own car, repair your own fucking things. A belt breaks. You don't call an electrician to go up and fucking put a belt on. You put it on yourself. Your brakes go out. You fix your own brakes. If your fucking carburetor goes out, you fix your own carburetor. Things that happen around your fucking estate, you do it yourself because you're broke. Being broke is a learning fucking curve that the elite can't do. They can't do it. Some of them specifically train themselves to be super fucking whatever, is to learn shit. But in the end, they can't handle it. They could not handle being poor. They can't. They can't. They'll have anxiety. They'll have worrisome. They'll be fucking nothing. They'll be losers. It just left aside to die. Poor people have skill sets that the rich don't have. And they can't have. It's not their fault, though. You got to understand, if you were born with a silver spoon, what a prison cell that is for them. They've only known a desk. They've only known... Um, fake ass uh, nepotism fucking um, ideology from the family. They're given fucking responsibilities from the families. The family runs the back of the turtle. And they can't do anything else. If they're gone, people will kill themselves. Launch the fucking missiles. If I were president, the first thing I do when I was in office the first week, where's the um, where's the nuclear weapons? Where's the um? It's in the briefcase. Cool. Click the fucking briefcase. Oh, it's the codes. Let's blow this place up. Uh, sir. Yeah, it's blown up. Um, there's nobody confronting us right now. Make a war. Fuck it, man. Make a war. Get the Jews involved. There'll be somebody fighting somewhere. Fuck it. Make a war. What do we have? Russia, China? Fuck them. Fuck North Korea, too. Let's blow them up. Send everything. Mr. President, are you telling us that you want us to fucking do full nuclear fucking war? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Fuck it. Wait, let me have a dinner first. 
I want fish and chips. I want fish and chips, and I want two women. I want two women to make out with each other first in front of me as I get a fluffer. I also want a third female for a fluffer. So I want two women to make out, and I want a fluffer, and I want the nuclear codes. I want this here right now in this fucking Oval Office. Make it happen. And I want some beer and marijuana and um, shit. I don't know what else. Hot pockets. I want hot pockets. So I want the nuclear codes. I want two women to make out where I have another female as a fluffer. I want hot pockets, fish and chips, and beer. Lots of it. Marijuana. Yeah. Let's all have this have this fucking tango right now. Let's let's fight against Russia. Let's fight back, man. Fuck them. I don't like them. Let's just fight China and fucking everybody else. Let's just have a war. What a great thing to do. I'm okay. What a great thing to do. Oh, war is beautiful. It's also fake. It's just rich people. Just rich people getting rid of cattle. You know, being an elite and having wars is no different than <laughs> going deer hunting. Let's go deer hunting. Let's go fucking, we got to thin out the population because if you have too many deer, then they fight each other and they compete for the whatever's in the system and all these other animals compete in the system. There's all these problems, man. It's best to eliminate some of the, some of the fighting bucks and all the other alphas and all the shit. Get rid of the alphas first. Put them in war first. All the tough guys go into war and they die. Cool, man. What do we have left? The soft guys that never joined the military. Cool. Let's have them do shit now. Have them wear dresses. Um, have them become transsexuals. Let's get the people to fight themselves on the streets where they live. The best war to have on the streets in a domestic situation, like in a, like you can't just send troops against your own citizens. If you're the president, so don't send the troops, man. Just send transsexuals. What? Yeah, just send transsexuals and have them dance in all kinds of weird, crude ways. And there's going to be a lot of problems and people are going to shoot at each other and like blow up fucking abortion clinics. It'll be a lot of domestic, like all kinds of shit. Just step up the, um, the homosexual agenda. The uh, uh, step up the uh, transsexual agenda. In fact, have people like do videos with rainbows and like rainbow smoke. <laughs> <sighs> have them do rainbow smoke. Somebody sent me this, this is hilarious. Come on, come on. Here it is. Come on, you're in there. Here we go. Let's get it going, man. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke up, spit that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so hard not to act reckless. To whom much is given, much is tested. Get arrested, guess until he get the message. I feel the pressure under more scrutiny. And what I do, act more stupidly. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me. The drama. Play this music. So I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me. I'm just saying how I feel, man. I ain't one of the Cosby's. I ain't go to hell, man. I guess the money should have changed them. I guess I should have forgot where I came from. Let 
up the suicide doors. This is my life, homie. You decide yours. I know that Jesus died for us, but I couldn't tell you who the side was. So I parallel double pump that mother sideways. Old folks talking about back in my day. But homie, this is my day. Class started two hours ago. Oh, am I late? No, I already graduated. And you can live through anything if magic makes Get them fighting each other. They say I talk with so much emphasis. Black lives matter. Oh, they so sick. White lives matter. Get them to fight. Oh, they say something when you go Get to the Let me know if it's a Launch the fucking curve. I man, holiday. He could drive off of fumes, cuz I move in a room full of nose. I stay faithful in a room full of must be the pharaohs he in tune with his soul. So when he buried in a tomb full of gold, pleasure, what's your pleasure? Hello, depending on how you dress her. So I know the devil wear product, I'm in between, but way okay. more pressure, but way less effort. Cause when you try hard, it's when you die hard Your homies looking like, why God? When they reminisce over you, my God La la, money guy La la la, Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing Nothing can't tell me nothing. Uh uh, you can't tell me Uh, I can't get my money right. Uh, I can't get my money right. Ooh. Oh, fuck. They're wiping my mind. Oh, I hate that. Stop scrubbing my fucking head. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, oh. oh shit okay oh they almost completely wiped my mind um it's the elites they're um sending out some kind of weird ass thing about women magic there's some witches that are working with the rh negative males they, uh, w uh females can only be the ones that cast spells so they cast spells and um yeah they cast spells and so um rh negative male women are casting spells against me why that's not nice Okay, here we go. I'm back to reality. Here I am, and we're back to five. Oh, shit. I didn't turn that on. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I didn't touch it. Shit. 
sent here from Sagittarius to help Orion spur an astronaut. It's a wonder, wonder woman. You're so wild. Sent here to help these people. Barbarella Psychadella There's a kind of cockroachel about you Barbarella Barbarella That's only with rainbow color Rainbow Rainbow colors? Rainbow colors Get me up high, teach me to fly, electrify, 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 How many people can actually do that? Not very many. That's a very loud psychedelic. Never can you spell the name of you. Barbarella, Papa, Barbarella, Barbarella. Psychedella. Doesn't that doesn't that movie Barbarella actually really identify this place as a movie? If you were to watch a movie and somehow give some sort of example of Orion Spur. Would you not put on Barbarella, the movie? Watch this movie, man. <laughs> is It is 100% this place. 100% this place. The movie Barbarella. It is 100% this place. It's exactly this place. Like, you watch the movie. I had it on Laserdisc as a kid. I used to watch Barbarella all the time. It was fucking cool, man. And I used to masturbate to Jane Fonda. Who did not masturbate to Barbarella? So it's like, oh, man. Oh, wow. Imagine being an astronaut from her. Like, she was an astronaut. And she showed up. And she had to get the mad doctor, Duran Duran, back to the whatever. She She had to save him. Duran Duran. And all Duran Duran, the scientist, wanted to do is achieve the ultimate orgasm. Barbarella. Duran Duran. You know you're getting all this taken off, right? Yeah. Duran. Duran. Duran Duran? significance of this song. Everything leaks into itself. What the fuck? 
Come here. Why are you always doing that? Come here. Let's go. Good, good, good. Come here. <laughs> She's like, pay attention to me. You good girl. You good girl. Go for it. I know. I know. I know. She's saying I'm hungry. I fed you. I go in there. I had to feed her. She was like, now. Holy shit. I can hear animals. Okay, we stopped that. Um, uh, yeah, I hear animals. So, oh my God, this thing's louder than normal. Wow, this is really loud. Oh, shit. So she was hungry, and she was telling me, like, yeah, I get it. I, um, so I put food down. Okay, so back to um, normal situations in um, this place and whatever it is. This place reminds me of something so fake that it requires somebody else to show up to fix this place. And I'll tell you what, it's not the 5D people that keep talking about seeing the Galactic Federation. Fuck them. Fuck the Galactic Federation. You know what the Galactic Federations are? They're androgynous people. They're kind of fucking gross. <sighs> The Galactic Federation are androgynous fucking people. Gross ass people. They want to limit the population here. So they have pushed the homosexual agenda. And they have designed the human male body to take a fucking keister hole without problems. Ew, they have redesigned the intestines here. The re they've redesigned the intestines here. If you have the Mandela effect, you know about the anatomy changes. The intestines are completely fucking changed. And so they've redesigned the male's butthole to take a fucking in the keister. And so males can be dominated. And they can be 
subservient. No. No. <laughs> Males here are feminine on purpose because they're built to be that way. There's a big difference between Sagittarian males and Orion sperm males. Orion sperm males are designed to take it in the fucking keister. That's their fail safe. That's what women had on Sagittarius and men did not have. Because when men make love to chicks like doggy style and they're stupid, they miss the target. And females were designed to not be injured if they missed the target. But a woman can say, hell fucking no, and punch him in the fucking face. You missed the target. Fix it. Clean that motherfucker and try again. That's how they were designed on Sagittarius. But in this place, it's all keister, keister, keisters. All these people are about keisters. And it's all fucking keister place. And they're designed for it. And as males aggressively going for that fucking whatever's that love hole they have, now in this place, for reals, like, a dude can be a chick and take it in the keister. And they won't have any fucking, like, medical problems. Not that bad. Oh. And they pass on um, viruses <laughs> that can hurt or fucking change all kinds of shit. So when you tap a dude in a fucking dirty ass keister, that shit goes inside of you as a virus and it changes the other male. It's passing around pathogens and viruses with the dirty keisters. And this place is specifically designed for it. This is the keister world. Oh. <laughs> but at the same time, you got to look at the brilliance in that. That's fucking brilliant. The whole gay agenda to pass on fucking pathogens and all kinds of shit. Nice. Have I ever tapped a dude in the fucking keister? Hell no. Not a, I'm from Sagittarius. Mentally, physically, there is no attractiveness. When I look at a male, I want to beat the fuck out of him. Get the fuck away from me. Compete with that fucking strong male. But in this place, they walk around putting their dirty ass keisters around. I'm like, what are you doing? Sagging my pants to take a shit? I don't understand. Uh, it's a sign. I know what it's a sign of, dude. And that was a very rare thing back home. Very, very rare. Very, very rare. <laughs> very rare. On Sagittarius, I was with my fucking older brother in the hospital, man. He had stitches in his fucking ass. Like, he had his, he had problems with his asshole because he was a homosexual. He was my dead gay older brother. He was a cool motherfucker, and he knew his shit, but he was, a, like, a small minority and fucking whatever. And that man had problems all the time with his fucking shitter. And so he was at the VA hospital one time, and his shit was all fucked up. I'm like, I don't know how you do it, man. <clears throat> oh. Fucking why you do that shit. <laughs> but um in this place, they are fucking designed for it. And so they're gonna prance their shit around. All men are gonna prance their shit around <clears throat> and be subservient to another man because they can if they're weak as males. Huh. Back on Sagittarius. Every man had a small keister. You didn't do that. So if you're a weak male, you just fought harder? You didn't become subservient to another male. You just got angry and fought harder. You got angry and fought harder. But in this place, you don't have to fight hard. You could just put your shit up and another man will fucking enter you. And you could become part of his fucking P. Diddy club. P. Diddy and all them fucking club peoples. Oh, wow, man. You got them men in line. How'd you do that? I just put my dick in their keisters. No shit. They didn't care. They were uncomfortable, but now they're my soldiers. 
by butt fucking buggering fucking males? You you've made them your soldiers? Ew. Guess it works. Cause this is Sagittarius, right? Nah, it's fucking a Ryan spur. Fuck no. <laughs> This entire place is specifically designed for male failure. One hundred percent. One hundred percent designed for male failure. Oh. In this place, God is bisexual? On Sagittarius, God was a man, was not bisexual. I don't know this God. It's a bisexual God. I don't know you, man. I ain't following your shit. (laughs) Because that ain't happening. Duran Duran. Duran Duran? No, Duran Duran. Duran Duran. That's why they named him so. That's a Mandela effect. Is that re- No, I believe you, dude. Uh, Danny Staten, say that again. Is it Duran Duran? Duran Duran. Because you would know that. That's a Mandela effect. It was Duran Duran. It was the repeated same name, Duran Duran. That's where Duran Duran got their name from, the movie Barbarella. <laughs> Duran Duran. Right down in that sidebar, man, if that is correct. Because <laughs> you just fucking nailed the fucking Mandela effect. There's that fucking T again. Keep showing up, right? <laughs> I'm waiting for you, man. Yes or no? Is that correct? Is it Duran Duran with a T? Because that's a huge Mandela effect if it is. Correct. Keep going. They'll cut half my shit off. Waiting for the answer. Is it Duran Durant or Duran Duran with the N N?
Good girl. Why, oh, no. You got food. No, I fed you. You know what? Of... She don't like eating out of the bowl. There's food in the bowl. Eat out of the bowl. Put it on the couch. No, I'm not putting food on the couch. You eat out of the bowl. You're a dog. You're a dog. Dogs eat out of the bowl. And there's water there, too. Stop that. Shit. Those birds are back. Oh, fucking shapeshifters. They're everywhere. Um, is it Duran Durant or Duran Durant? Somebody give me an answer. Uh, there's five of you in there. Somebody give me an answer. Is it Duran Durant or Duran Duran with the in? Because if it's Durant, then it's a Mandela effect. That means the locals have always known it was Duran Durant. <laughs> Wow. I uh, probably scared off everybody. Because a lot of people that watch me, they're probably like, no, nah, it was Duran Durant. I don't want to be the person that writes that because he doesn't have that memory. And if he doesn't have that memory, then I feel like I'm awkward. I'm not just part of the fucking group. There is no group. There is no fucking group. <laughs> Five lurking. I know there's five. You're always watching. <laughs> <coughs> Daniela W., can you please find out if it's Duran Duran or Duran Durant with a T? Because I think it's um just um Danny State and Miss remembering. <sighs> I don't think it's Duran Durant. <laughs> If it is, that's a huge fucking change. Like, that's huge. But he hates you, though. He calls you a witch. Here's the thing. Danny Staten calls Daniela W. a witch. And he's not technically wrong. She is a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, she's a witch, um, but a different kind of witch, like a white witch. Like there's white witches and there's dark witches. There's like Brovovich witch that throws fucking feces and pig's blood on the wall and writes stupid shit on the wall. Oh, it's shock value. Kind of, we don't need to do that. Women don't need to put poop on the wall. Women can put milk in front of crystals. That's white magic has the same volume of power as people with the dark magic. So white magic witches are just as, if not stronger, than dark magic witches. In fact, white magic witches have a power that's much longer, much longer. <laughs> it withstands more time. Um, black magic witches, it's short like a firecracker. It's a shock factor. It's short and fucking sweet, and it makes a quick fucking whatever's. It's a shortcut. Long-term magic is white magic. <laughs> Breast milk in a child. Yeah, I know. You did that. <laughs> it actually helped. <laughs> At the time it was relevant, it actually helped. Understand, people, this is platonic. At the same time, it helped. It really helped. Um, that's white magic. White magic is much, it's much, much longer than dark magic. A white magic witch is and can be 
Christians and of faiths and of religions, of whatever else's that has, and they pull from that magic, they can pull from that magic. They can pull from it because they're good. A good witch can have much more magic than a bad witch. <laughs> Let me say that first and foremost. A good magic witch is a loving wife of a husband and children and happy and hanging in there and doing the basics with the crystals and the um, numerology and the um, uh, astrologies and doing the basics across the board. That's white magic. White magic is so much different because they're putting apples in a basket and having them taken away by putting milk in a chalice that's taken away from their family that's taking their their they were supposed to give and giving it away a woman that gives away breast milk like that that's a lot of magic because you're taking a little bit away from yourself from your baby and your family that's your children's drink that's not to be given away but to give away breast milk for females and put a cup in front of crystals and candles and all kinds of shit, that is white magic. <laughs> and that is a solid thing to do. That is a lot of power. <sighs> to accept something like that is a lot of strength for females. Look up. Back in the day, when there was, uh, there were midwives. Midwives, they would they would also feed the children. Midwives were witches, and they breastfed the entire village. So women would go around breastfeeding everybody else's babies. That's white magic. That's the old school pagan um, um, uh, midwives. What a magical fucking strength that is. <laughs> this school, Duran, Duran, Duran. Okay, so it's Duran, Duran. Okay, okay, uh, breast milk. Okay, uh, yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Mm. That's white magic. Now, understand, guys. A lot of people that watch me are like, you're always talking about Daniel W. It's only because we're in a club. We're in a, I was in a fucking club. I'm in a club. We're in a fucking club. It's friendship club. Um, Stiffest mom's not dead club. And there's a lot of evidence to support that she's not dead. That's it. It's like a gaming thing. So... She's like probably the last of the Stiffer's Mom's Not Dead Club. Ugh. And we're just friends like that. And I'm like, there's nothing happening. We're just friends. However, the um, evidence to support that Stiffer's Mom's Not Dead is high. And so there's a lot of executives that are talking about, how do we pull this off? Because we killed her character. You didn't. How do you know she's fucking dead? Because we saw her body on the beach. They pulled her up and the um, um, the whatever whatever place they had her body, they put her on the stretcher. They wrapped her up. She's a big ass person. You know, she's an older woman, very fucking smart. And um, she just like she's dead and everybody wants money from her. She's a rich, very, very filthy, rich old woman. Everybody wants to fuck over and she's on vacation. She's just fucking having a great time. She's like introduced to fucking cool dudes and she's having sex and everyone wants money from her and she just wants to fucking have a good time and she's dead. But Danielle and I both know that she ain't dead. 
That's it. That's the only thing that we have in common. Saw the evidence too. She ain't dead. She's part of the uh, Stippers Mom's Not Dead Club. I joined it. I joined a lot of clubs with the ladies because they're smart. She ain't dead. Stippers Mom's Not Dead. Under the water. Like a mermaid. What if Stipper's mom was a mermaid that lived on land for a little bit? From Atlantis with ancient money. What if she was a queen of Atlantis, Stipper's mom? I say these things and Danielle W's like, fuck yeah, she was a fucking mess. She was a mermaid. Texas Jerry's like, I don't get it. You're not going to. over hold on i'm sending this over to uh uh texas tanny understand this understand silver's mom's not dead she was in fact queen of the mermaids on earth. Are you lost? Stifler's mom. Uh, no, no, not lost. Just, uh, you know, taking the tour. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, thank you for letting us have this wonderful party. As if there was an alternative in the matter. Very rich woman. Now. Texas Danny understands. Are you enjoying yourself? Um, three I'm three sending it out to man. the males. I'm so happy for you. But it takes the edge off, doesn't it? So where's your little date tonight? Oh, no date. It was, it was a bathroom incident. She had sex with all Pardon the that? young men. Never mind. Step a smile. Good guy. You have anything to drink? I believe the kegs are upstairs. That is what the Cretans drink. I'm talking about alcohol, liquor, the good stuff. All right. I got some scotch. Single malt. Aged 18 years. <sighs> oh, man, I like it. Why don't you go grab a glass from the bar? She's not dead, man. I think I should. Texas, anyways. Well, me. So I said, this is very obviously a Pierre de la Francesca. Okay. 
<laughs> California like news, put it in the sidebar, strange. dude. Put all the California news in there. How much does it change? Are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> Give us a yes, topography man. thing. Danny Staten is our, um, not Danny, uh, Texas Danny is our, um, our uh, resident topography guy. A lot of dads. You dad. Tribe of dads. Mom? Shipwreck? Oh, hey, Stipley. Shit. 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 Texas Danny's in there. Um, he was actually born in California, but um, 